GITV would like to thank our sponsors, Condor Outdoor, G4 Airsoft, Contour Camera, Ares by Z-Shot, and KWA. Hi GITV, I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand, I've got something kind of special for you today. This is the G&G &G RK47 Blowback Assault Rifle. I, I'm very excited about this gun because I'm in the market for a blowback gun right now, and this is G&G's first AK style blowback system. Uh, they've got a lot of M4s and M16s out there with blowbacks in them, but this is their first AK style gun. So let's go over the uh, external features. We've got an adjustable sight, we've got a metal body, we've uh, got some plastic furniture, it's black, it also comes in wood plastic. Now a lot of folks would think that would make the gun a little flimsy, but the metal body is reinforced very well and it's probably the most solid AK I've ever encountered. Although most AKs are pretty solid, this one is not moving at all. So that's really good. Uh, it comes with a sling mount up front and a sling mount in the back. And it also comes with a side rail mount. Now, not all AKs from manufacturers come with these on them, but G&G was nice enough to include it, and I really appreciate that. So, next you get a high cap mag that actually has a cool little paint job on the outside. It just looks a little more scary. I uh, got the movable bolt. That's the blowback action right there. Uh, let's see, any other non-standard features on the outside? Nope, let's go to the inside. So, this is the pneumatic system right here. Now, a lot of folks feel that, uh, well, pneumatic system means using air to push this around. A lot of folks feel that if you're siphoning off air to make the bolt move, you're probably going to lose some FPS. So, we're going to check that out right now. It should shoot about 350 maybe, uh, like most of the other G&G guns. So stay tuned, we're going to check that out and see if that's the case. Please use your airsoft guns responsibly. Do not shoot at any unsuspecting people or animals. Don't ever look down the barrel of your airsoft gun. And keep your finger off the trigger unless you're ready to fire. Treat your airsoft guns like they're real firearms. All right, Bob, how hard does this thing shoot? A lot harder than I imagined it would. It's about 400 feet per second, give or take like one or two FPS. It's right under right under 400 with blowback. All right, give me your perspective on this. Uh, I'm a big fan of this. I basically really like blowback guns because, you know, it's, it's not, electric blowback is not the same as gas, but with the electric blowback, you don't get the temperamental uh, usage you do with gas. So. What about AKs in general? Because you have an AK similar to this. Yes, I really like AKs. Uh, most most airsoft AKs are incredibly solid. Um, I've never used a blowback one except for a gas one. I'm not a huge fan of AKs because of the customizability isn't really there. But this one does come with the rail already on the body, so it's kind of cool there. And I'm also not a huge fan of blowbacks because I think it's just another thing that can break on the gun. However. G&G's pneumatic system has an amazing track record, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't mind having a blowback AK as long as it was pneumatic because the pneumatic system doesn't put any extra stress on the gears. And everything I'm saying is just going... Whoosh. No, no, I got it. It's just I'm trying to think like how many times have we played Freedom Fighters and been using M16s instead of AKs? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So this would be cool to have for a good bad guy loadout. Absolutely. And I think the more people should play bad guys. I like being a bad guy. Check being out Axe. Bad guy is way fun. Yeah, especially at like big games, because then mm -hmm. you usually aren't as tightly controlled by your... Yeah, they let you kind of run free, do some more lone wolf stuff, so... It's more realistic. Yeah. And this is definitely more realistic. So, how about the price? Uh, okay, this is what I'm most excited about. This gun is $200! When I start... Well, okay, alright. When I start playing airsoft, like most just regular guns, electric guns, were $300. And up, and this is a G&G gun, which is far and away better than most other brands. It's a blowback gun, and it's their first AK blowback, and it's cheaper than, thank you, than their M4, M16 blowback. So this came out at the right time for the right price from the right company. Indeed, Bob. Check this gun out at Airsoft GI. It is the G&G RK47 blowback. Mm, can't wait to play with this.
GITV is brought to you in part by Sig Sauer by Cybergun, Operation Line Claws Milsim Series, G&G Armament, KJW, and Javelin Airsoft Gunworks. Damn it, Bob. How could you leave a magazine loaded? That's fine. I spent five minutes in here and I was shaking and shaking and nothing. <laughs> the magazine. God. <laughs>